Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we got more Madden 24 content. For those of you guys who are looking for the gameplay and stuff like that, well, EA dropped the official trailer yesterday, so I figured we go over it together again. It's the same thing as the as the as the reveal trailer. Uh, I haven't watched this yet. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but again, I'm gonna give my my assessment. Um, so that you guys can get my whole shebang. Now, if you guys are new, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. You guys should already know the whole YouTube spiel. I shouldn't have to say it every damn video. But gameplay video, I'm, I'm excited for Madden 24. But before I watch this, I do want to state, I said this earlier. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous video, but I did mention how I feel like this year is going to be the same thing. And they're just going to go, hey, this has been improved. And they say that every single day year i don't want to be a debbie downer but of course you know i call you know you know we call spades spades a spades you know what i mean if they're gonna sit there and put out the same highlights and the same like uh, oh my god this is new it's gonna be it's gonna be the same thing but it's just gonna you know that's just how ea is it, it's always the same thing but they'll sit there and announce it as it's like a new feature we improved blocking they've said that almost every single year so hopefully they don't say that in this video but let's get right into it, man. The goal for gameplay in Madden NFL 24 is to provide... Immediately, Freeform, obviously it's back. Oh, ended up dropping my controller. Freeform is back, but did you see how high that trajectory was on that pass? The goal for gameplay in... Look at how high that pass is. That thing is... That thing is deep. Through improvements okay the field sense, cornerback system. knocking that ball up field sense field sense that's that's number one right there we already seeing it completely redesigned character skeleton that we're calling sapien and enhancements to key areas of foundational football as part of madden 24's field sense improvements hit everything 2.0 introduces new contested catch tackle types to provide more control and variety on defense in madden 23 Are we saying hit sticks are back? Like good hit sticks? Cause you know, you kind of get tired of seeing the same animations over and over again. And one of the things that I wanted in these games is more animations. It's an animation based game. And the more animations that we get to choose from between player to player, the, the better the better the game will feel, the more fluid it will feel, the, the more unique it'll feel, the more things that they implement into the game, the better everything is gonna seem. So. Hopefully, Hit Stick 2.0 is actually something where they include a lot more animations into the game, especially Hit Six ones. I, I wish they shook the, shook the screen a little bit more like they used to back back in the day. Shout out to my old heads that remember that. The midair tackling system changed the way players defended the passing game, but those were limited to tackling receivers who were leaping for the ball. In Madden 24, that system expands to all contested catches. So you can now make plays on curls, slants, and crossers much more effectively, and you can hit receivers coming across the middle. All of these improvements increase your control and ability to defend the passing game. All right, let me stop. Let me stop real quick. <clears throat> Why? Because if, if it's anything like Madden 23, this is going to be a rough year, but it's going to be a great year for defense. The reason why I say that, because we all know what, what has been meta literally the entire year, KOs. Whether it be zone KOs or route KOs, KOs run the game and they make it a little bit frustrating. So if that's gonna be in if that's gonna be in the game, it might get a little crazy on defense. And we might have a, a defensive year of Madden ahead of us. I hope. I feel like every defensive Madden that there's that there's ever been has been a good Madden. So hopefully that's a good thing. New wrap tackle types like scoop tackles, low wrap tackles, okay. mismatch tackles pay off the size, momentum, and matchup of every tackle. Mm. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. I'm sorry, Barry Sanders, you're one of the greatest of all time, but there's no reason why you should be dragging Mean Joe Green for an extra five yards, my boy. That just shouldn't be happening. On the other side of the ball, Improvements to skill-based passing introduces upgrades to make both throwing and catching smoother. Okay. Receivers will now maintain their speed and momentum when catching, no matter where you place the pass, giving you more control to get loose and turn up field. A new 
jump, dive, and no-look pass animations have been added for quarterbacks who often improvise to manufacture a clear passing lane. Let me stop right there. Love it. Love it. Love it. That made me a little bit excited. Again, as soon as I see new whatever is in between and animations, I'm going to be a little bit excited because there, there should be a ton of new things. But the fact that we're going to be able to rack catch things, for those of you guys who don't know, rack is when you is, is when you catch it on the run. So you, your momentum doesn't doesn't so you don't lose momentum. So you can sit there and just catch it and run. Madden 23's racks are terrible. And that's one of the reasons why the KOs were so good. Because you could literally have like a wide open guy. And as soon as you go for the catch, your momentum ends up going pretty much out the window, which allows the person to sit there and knock the ball out. So again, a nice, nice little counterbalance to the situation of the, you know, the little squares that they shown with the uh, tackle animations on catches. But if rack animations are back to being good, we might have a we might have a good year in store. Let's keep it going. 24's new character skeleton, Sapien, has been completely rebuilt from the ground up, resulting in more realistic animations that better simulate athletic performance. Okay. On the previous skeleton in Madden 23, player limbs and joints weren't always accurately represented. You can see here some of the new ways that Sapien in Madden 24 more accurately reflects the bodies of various NFL players. From players with They made my boy Big Q look super fat. Granted, he looked like he just lost 200 pounds in the, like he was, he looked like he was 600 pounds and it went down to 360 pounds in the left picture. So that's why he's a little bottom heavy. But he, I mean, he looked a little more full, like he'd been eating his, a unique combination like he, like he been eating his greens. To those with more athletic builds, Sapien transforms the way players look, move, and perform on the virtual gridiron. With Sapien, animations have higher fidelity and are more fluid. What I tell y'all, more, whatever's in between, animations. That's what we want. We want that. I promise you. We want that every single year. But I don't, I like, one thing is I don't want them to forget about the animations that were in previous uh, versions of the game because that will allow them to sit there and pretty much just show emphasis on the same animation. So we'll end up seeing the same animations that they highlighted over and over and over again. So we don't want that, but more animations is a good thing. It will always be a good thing. Fluid, making the player movement more true to life for smoother gameplay in Madden 24. Sapien also unlocks our ability to respond to community feedback, like adding referees back to the field. And it's off. Let me, let me stop it. Let me stop it. Refs. Refs don't mean anything, but it's good to see him back on the field because it's just, I don't know, it just adds a different vibe to the game to see the referees out there. And it's that's that's a good thing to bring back. I, I know that's not a new feature, but I'm glad that I'm glad to see refs back on the field. And it's something that I forgot to mention in the in the reveal trailer, but this is definitely a good thing in my Optimized opinion. Optimized for both male and female characters. Enhancements to foundational football in key aspects of gameplay. Let me, let me read these real quick. Blocking improvements, ball carrier pathfinding, quarterback AI, DB improvements, onside kicks and fumble recoveries, playbook variety. You know what? I'm like I'm not going to make a 30 minute video on playbooks, but you could literally make a a play a playbook video because that's something that Madden drastically needs to add more of. It's more plays. So, if you guys want more meta stuff, you need more variety into the game, and that's what more playbooks you know and post play emotion increase okay. the authenticity of every play first up is blocking in madden 23 let me stop this right here before, before, and i and i know y'all might get annoyed about this but they say this every year block blocking improvements and i mentioned this at the beginning of the video they say that every single year that the blocking improvements are better blah blah blah, blah, blah. Miss their marks in Madden Ooh, 24, getting sticky over the there. blocking system makes open field blocking AI smarter and more decisive, and in turn makes it easier for ball carriers to react to blocks. We're also expanding field sense animation branching technology to blocking, which allows the AI to branch. Let me rewind that back because y'all y'all might not have seen what I seen. We're also expanding field. I want y'all to look. Branching I want y'all to look in the top right here and look at the angle that young man up here where the number ten mark is running towards. Uh, yeah, he's running towards that sideline while Etienne Jr. is running into the middle. 
I, I get his assignment might be to disrupt the running towards the outside, but that man is clearly taking that hole towards the inside, and this man is running straight towards the outside. Yeah, blocking might might have changed, and it might and it might have gotten better, but defensive angles and pursuits. Hopefully, they make a slight change to that as well because that doesn't look too good. Yikes. Technology to block, which allows the AI to branch in and out of double teams to get to the second level, chip block, and push the pile. We've added new run concepts like pin and pull and toss okay. track with dynamic pre-snap targeting and pull block assignments. All of these improvements will open up more space for the run game in Madden 24. Enhancements to the ball carrier pathfinding and AI behavior include the implementation of frostbite navigation grid capabilities for the first time. The result is a better assessment of the playing field and defensive threats by ball carrier AI and more appropriate movement through the chaos of a play. I wonder if that's going to be a feature that you're going to be able to turn on in game like where it's like where you should go so that people can kind of learn where to track their player to actually find the right gaps and the right holes but that's something that would have to be put into like in, in like real time so i don't know if they'll be able to like implement that but you know with ai going crazy you know lately uh, you, you you never know what they're going to implement into the actual game so who knows who knows what the fully what the what the full version of the game is going to entail but i know it's not like that in the beta but who knows? As a result of improved traits that intelligently determine how quarterback AI performs, mm. each QB represents a unique defensive challenge in Madden 24. Considering mm. that quarterbacks will check down more often, ideal decision makers know exactly when to sling in a tight window throw, and aggressive signal callers come with high risk, high reward. Mobile quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson I don't like are that. also able to use ball carrier pathfinding and are more dynamic to play against as a result. In addition, mobile QBs are back. All the way back. There's going to be a, a card that ends up having better, like a, a better trans. Man. Mm -hmm. Yo, I, I might be bringing back pistol, boys. Stay, stay tuned. AI quarterbacks can better execute the quick passing game, call hot routes, audible at the line, and are smarter and more challenging to play against overall. New read steps and crossover footwork allow DBs to see the ball and make plays more authentically. And now defenders need to be able to see the ball in order to make a play on it. As Let me rewind that real quick. And now defenders need to be able to see the ball in order to make a play on it. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? No more being turned around. And looking at nothing and being able to turn around and just go, <gasps> they're gonna be able to drop my controller again. I'm getting excited. I'm this. This is a this is a good this is a good gameplay trailer right here. I'm not I'm not even again. I'm 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 one of I'm one of EA's biggest haters, but I'm also one of EA's biggest motivators because I, I like I'm a, I'm a critique as much as I possibly can. But as That's a result, slant routes and crossing huge. routes will have a higher chance of breakups or interceptions, and defenders can utilize new animations to make more plays on high balls. Mm. Fumble recoveries are more realistic with new animations like crowded pileups and scoop and scores. And he, onside kicks are more authentic with the addition of new ball physics. <laughs> with over 70 new offensive formations, new pass and run plays that take into account a team's identity, and over 500 new plays, there's more play calling variety in Madden 24. Hey, I know. Listen, I know I keep pausing. I, I have to pause. I can't just let the video run through like that. But let me let me. Man, and they changed the scoreboard again. Such an easy change that makes it a little bit different. Props to EA for this. For this for this game, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if the game is going to be good. But for this gameplay trailer, props to EA. New team-specific formations take into account real-life personnel alignments that allow for unique matchups, letting you be more creative when play calling. Go, go, go. Improvements to Madden 24's post I don't like that one. gives NFL stars Double more true-to-life reactions after every play. Contextually appropriate reactions with more celebrations and frustrations 
make your teammates more dynamic and boost immersion. Madden NFL 24 was designed to provide players with more control, more realism, and more Hey, that's like the fourth time that they've shown that tackle, by the way. Madden NFL 24 was designed to provide players the, with more control. This tackle here, that's like the fourth time that they've shown it in this trailer where he's sitting there picking them up. And I told you, they highlight the new animations. So hopefully they, they don't forget about the hundreds of other animations that they could have used for tackle kind of animations. So again, I'm this is looking great. This is looking great. So more realism and more confidence on the field. And we can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Round of applause. Madden, make that. This was great. This was great. This was, a, this is, this was everything that you want a gameplay trailer to be. Everything was revealed as a, as a new system in the in a good way nothing looked like it was like this super like I, and mind you i might be i might be biased because you know it's madden season we all go through that little small honeymoon phase especially when we see the brand new features and this and this and that but this looks great in my opinion these changes look great these additions look great uh, this this looks great again there's certain things that i hope you know we're we're, we're going to be allowed to implement but new playbooks 500 new formations or plays i think he said plays i believe is what he said i think he said 70 new formations i could be wrong but again that is huge because that could that could potentially provide us with a lot more variety in madden which allows us to create new metas and i hope that those playbook changes uh translate over to the defensive side as well the the pushing behind the back and stuff like that i hope i hope that situational awareness goes for the defense as well because i know there was a problem with goal line situations where or first down situations where like you you'd have a guy and you go for a hit stick or like a tackle and they drag him forward and it's like why would you drag him forward across across the across the pylon when it's like it makes no sense certain things in madden don't make sense so Hopefully they cleaned it up a lot more, but this was a top tier way to provide the people with a with a good look at the new additions to Madden. So let me know if if I missed anything or if there's something that I should be like keen to, because uh, you know five minute trailer there, there was a lot to pack in that trailer, but I'm excited from from that. If you're not, then I I don't know what to tell you. NCAA is coming out, <laughs> so hopefully you guys are just excited as I am. Uh, but yeah, Madden 24, man, it's looking like it might be a top tier season. And this is looking like it might be more of a defensive Madden. Zone looks like it's going to be top tier, especially with the not being able to react to a play if you can't see the ball. And again, flip side, I hope it's like that on, on offense too, where you got a guy who starts his route. He's not looking toward, he, he's not looking for the ball. You know what I mean? So again, if, if the defense can't like react to a ball, then the offense shouldn't be able to either until that route has developed slightly. So again, my name is Pony Montana. I hope you guys appreciate and enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Madden 24, right around the corner. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all in the next one. And as always, two fingers, deuces. Peace out, you guys.